Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Helen Gim. I'm a former. I'm a former public school teacher. I'm a mom who's had a child in a public school every year since 2002, and I became a city council member to fight the injustice and inequity that has come out of this building for the last decade. Along with Jerry Jordan and Shakita Gaines, I am proud to be here with my council colleague, Kendra Brooks, with our school board member, Mallory Fitz-Lopez, with Pastor Nick O'Rourke from Power, from Power Philadelphia, to condemn what has happened in this building year after year. Let's make it clear that the court case may be beginning today, but Harrisburg's unjust system of funding has been on trial for in Reading, in Norristown, yeah. and then on trial in Scranton, where librarians and music programs have been cut even this year. And it has been on trial in my beloved city of Philadelphia, where under 17 years of a state takeover, we were subjected to every manner of experimentation but one, decent, adequate, and fair funding. Whether you have been in this work for two years, two months, or 20 years, this what is clear is that this has been a journey. The words that are written into that Constitution that are being finally debated in a courtroom today comes alive through the everyday practices of the people who are standing behind me right now. When times seem darkest, it is the people who are gathered here today who believed in those words written almost 200 years ago, when they closed down our public schools, when they took away our nurses and our counselors, when they denied us programs for young people, mental health support, after school activities, when they told us that we had to pay for our own kindergarten, and when they went out and used that money to fund vouchers, sell privatization, legislators with lobbyists and attacks on teachers unions and the school parents and uh and and school boards that stood up for children we know who was guilty the last time i was here in june i was arrested along with 15 other members of power philadelphia clergy leaders who asked merely one thing when 10 billion dollars sits in harrisburg coffers why is our school the worst in the nation In funding, um, in funding our public schools, the largest wealth gap in the in the country. So let us remember that times like this, we have always stood together. We have lived what is being on, put on trial today. We are we have lived what is being testified to in a court, and that is why this community will never quit. That is why we know that this legislator has been guilty for so long, and today is their day of reckoning. Today, we bring out into the light the immoral, unjust, unconstitutional, racist, and deliberate underfunding of our public schools and our children, and we will counter it with a moral, just, democratic, and multiracial voice of the people who will bring this state to a greater